before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Finale. In this video, we will tell you why the Pawn Stars, Chumley and Rick Harrison, absolutely hate each other. Number 1. Difference in Behavior Chumley is a little playful, while Rick is more like a serious shop owner. There was this one incident when a customer came into the shop to pawn off a sword, which he claimed belonged from a famous game, World of Warcraft. As soon as Chumley saw the sword, he could not hold himself back and began imitating himself as a King of the Lords. He began stroking the sword in the air and cheerfully played on his own. The customer obviously thought that it would have been better if he had played with the sword after buying it and taking it under his own possession. Rick's face was telling how furious he was and how much he wanted to stop this whole scene, but Chumley, as clumsy as he was, was lost in his own game bubble enjoying the sword. Of course, Rick's attitude was also justified as this attitude of Chumley can cost them money and eventually run them out of business if the customers also start to take them lightly. There are many incidents where the customer got furious over Rick and Chumley over Chumley's careless attitude and left the shop. What, you got a problem? What is it, a musket? It's a musketoon. Does it play a song? Can you just fire the damn thing already? Merci beaucoup. Number two, difference in carrying out deals. Both Rick and Chumley are opposite of each other in every term. They do not just have a difference in attitude, but their dealership style too. While Rick is more of a person who likes to send the customer satisfied and happy, even if it costs him a little profit, however, Chumley only cares about the profit and believes that the pawn business should be focused on only money and not customer satisfaction, as there is a very low chance that a customer will come again to the shop. After all, no one wants to visit a pawn shop on a daily basis. Another incident that occurred with a 450-year-old book from Isaac Newton's library was also similar to the glove one. Chumley passed funny comments about the book, which made the customer and Rick furious. I believe this is a book on alchemy. What is alchemy? Alchemy is the art of transmutating metals. They figured if they combine the right ingredients, mercury and some sulfur. Number three, Rick believes in word of mouth while Chumley does not. There was this one incident when a customer brought in sports gloves, which he claimed that it belonged to a collection version of Babe Ruth, who is one of the most respectable and famous players of baseball. As the name of Babe Ruth is very prominent in the market, Chumley estimated the gloves to be worthy of $425, to which the customer had no other option but to give in as he was in need of money. Nevertheless, he still went from the store unsatisfied because he thought that Chumley should have paid him more. Although Chumley cut out a pretty sweet deal, Rick thought it would have been better to pay the customer a few more dollars to make sure he recommends our shop in his circle. Chumley thinks that the Gold and Silver Pawn Shop is already famous in Las Vegas, which is why they do not need to depend on customers for good word of mouth. Both of them are correct in their own opinion, but this difference in their thinking is what causes them to argue almost in every episode. AC's fine. It's hot in here, it's warm. Are you having hot flashes? I'm not having hot flashes. Maybe you're going through male menopause. Number 4. Chumley is a risk taker while Rick is a safe player. There have been many incidents where Chumley cut out a deal without consulting the experts or even Rick and ended up in a loss. He believes that business is a game of risk taking and there is not always much time to consult everyone before making a deal. He thinks that he should follow his gut and it is okay if he turns out a loss sometimes. However, Rick thinks that they should follow the drill and consult with the expert before making an even $1 deal. He thinks that loss is a failure, and if it keeps on going like this, they will have to shut down the shop in no time. Number 5. Chumley's Overconfidence There was this one incident when a customer brought in a huge stack of comic books, claiming that they were all in demand and were $2,000. Chumley tried to cut off a smart deal and offered her $500, to which she refused to sell at first, but then eventually agreed. Chumley was pretty proud of his deal until the experts revealed that the books are no more worthy than $200. The store had to face a loss of $300 for a mistake made by Chumley, which made Rick furious. This was not the first time Chumley pulled something off like that. Even though Rick had warned him not to make any deals worth above $1,000, Chumley thought of this restriction as an insult and proceeded to make deals without anyone's consent or consultation. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.